Look at that. He recalled the healers. So there's the recalled healers now being redeployed onto the RC. And we're back into the creative master series where champ is up first. Good luck as this is match number eight. The winner of this is going to advance to take on Demo and Diego. Demo actually won the Creative Mask series last year with Mask as he's on different teams. So let's see what the plan here is. The Skelly Donut onto the Town Hall, Clan Castle, and Multi-Target Inferno. Can he grab the Town Hall there? That's a lot of Skellies. He's trying his absolute best, but I don't know if the Town Hall could go down. Let's, he has another Invis. He has only one left. But the builders are doing work. The clan castle is gone. Come on, town hall. 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 No. No giant arrow to even finish it off as well. Defensive rage does go off. But the town hall is going to get slowly repaired back up here with a baby dragon balloon coming down to the bottom side. King as well. Golem out in front by this ground expo. Remember, at the end of the match, there is going to be a judge voting. Based on the creativity, you can get awarded anywhere between 0 0.51, 1.5. Like and judges can only vote a total of five times, three bonus stars throughout the whole entire tournament. So they can only they have to be very, very picky of when they do indeed use it themselves. As we got a couple balloons coming to the left. We got Queen making her way through the defensive king off to the right. Peck is trying to push their way through the scatters. Super minions can help try to go for the town hall. But the builders are trying to repair it as super minions are reaching across. No spells left. They are dying here. So he's going to have to rely on the RC. The shield can skip and take that to the town hall, but doesn't use it just yet. The king continues his way in with an ice golem left. Queen ability is going to have to go off. It does. Does have the frozen arrow. RC helps secure this town hall. It skips across as a few hogs pop up. They die off pretty quick as the RC is now gone. And this is where, if he had that giant arrow, he could have finished the town all off, you know? That's why you may want to bring a giant arrow. You never know the value. As he continues his way through, with the queen continuing to follow behind the P.E.K.K.A., the unicorn is healing up this queen to try to bring her back. As the warden has died off, the phoenix is continuing. And the P.E.K.K.A. needs to help protect this queen. As he can loop his way towards this Tesla, there is an opening in the wall. The Phoenix is tanking the scatter shot. Giants out in front. There is a Diggy here. The Diggy came from the Grand Warden. Can help try to stun the scatter. The Apprentice Warden is there. The scatter gets stunned. Needs to stun the Ground Expo. It's doing a lot of damage. The Apprentice Warden might just die off. But we still have to get through a Ricochet Cannon. But that Queen's got her Frozen Arrow. The Diggy is barely staying alive. But should die off here to the Ricochet Cannon. Approaching into the 90s here. And the ricochet cannon is going to hit the queen. Bounce to hit the unicorn. Queen is going to walk. Oh, bye-bye, unicorn. Just like that. And close. Very, very close. And I think the skellies were supposed to take out this ricochet cannon. And if the skelly donut worked, this would have been a triple. Nice try. And Davey is up to answer for his team with... 10 balloons, some healers. He's got a lightning spells. Frozen air on that queen. Using the lightning spells to help grab the multi archer tower. A ground expo. Gonna go with a stone slammer right off the bat. That'll move its way into this air defense. But what's the plan here? Is the air defense gonna take quite a bit of damage onto this Tesla? Oh, we got a seeking air mine. Or not the Tesla, but the stone slammer. The seeking air mine. These Tesla is doing uh, so much damage to it. I think he wanted to definitely get way further in the base. I'll let him die. I wanted them to go to the middle. Either. Super minions here. Unfortunately, it looks like they're going to go to the top side and not get deep into the core by this multi or by the eagle artillery, essentially, as golems are protecting. And remember, when golem dies, and even the golemites, it does splash damage. So if there is skeleton spells next to golems, it will actually, or not the skeleton spells, but the skelly traps, it will help splash damage and take them down. As he continues to try to wall break this queen, rages her up. Healers need to help try to keep this queen up as a Lava Hound has come out of this clan castle. And that Stone Slammer was not able to continue right on through as the king can try to path his way to this town hall. Queen pops that hound as these balloons are going to move their way through a couple wizard towers. But the king can help make his way to the town hall. Does have the giant gauntlet. It is a level 19 here. 
The monolith is, though, out of reach from this queen as we are sending some balloons and dragon riders to move into this multi-target inferno from that right side. Royal Champions moving in with that Grand Warden through this bottom side as the queen's ability is unfortunately forced. He can use a couple invises for that queen, and he does just that. The king comes back to life with the phoenix. Town Hall goes down. Warden burns the ability, continues to try to protect the Royal Champion. Can he keep that Queen alive with that Frozen Arrow? That's going to be the difference in this attack here as the Queen can go for a multi. Makes the RC invisible. She can even walk around and grab the Eagle Artillery as the RC does burn her ability. Has the Haste File. Has the Invisibility or the Royal Jam to get a lot of health back. As he's out of... Sp oh, actually he's got one Freeze left. Uses on the Ricochet Cannon. The Eagle is going down so it doesn't get any shots off. He's got one header hunter left. Can this Royal Champion continue her way through the backside? It doesn't look like it. The Ricochet Cannon is going to be too much. Taking down that arc. I wanted that limb to get to the Novi or the Eagle. But if he had a yeah. two stars, I guess. Does not look like it's going to be into the 90s here. Does have 35 seconds left. Trying to get every bit of percentage as he gets overwhelmed by three skeleton traps and the defensive king. That queen is getting absolutely shredded and down she goes. And it's looking like it's going to be an 86% two-star here for Davey. And Romeo is up to answer. Can he get that triple? With... Ooh, I was going to try to guess if he was going to bring in an Inferno Dragon. And he does indeed actually have some. And a handful of healers. Dropping it onto the Queen. Pulling a Seeking Air Mine right off the bat. But eight more healers deployed probably on the Warden. Does drop the Flame Flinger to the top side with a Barbarian out in front to really test for traps. To help try to protect the flame flinger He's gonna have to freeze that invisibility he does and pops queen ability right away to help snipe that town hall down it goes as the queen's dealing with this and there is a lightning spells right on behind okay as this queen's gonna make her way through this bottom side and the storage will actually hold the queen up long enough so that the poison of the town hall is gonna wear off and the queen and these healers won't get affected and really trying to pull out not only the clan castle which is looking like some ice golems are in there but also try to pull some red air bombs with the balloon as the queen will continue her charge in. Does have that jump and it's super miners. Uh oh, you have to be careful. You're going to rage. You have to be very careful. The super miners, yes, he does freeze because he sees them. That could be a lot of damage as the flame flinger gets now opens up to the ground expo. Valkyries are running through. The warren is trying to continue his warden walk down south. Does clear a little bit of funnel as he's going to join in with that king. And the queen's going to walk to the bottom. There is a wall breaker. The queen's going to path into this compartment down here. As she can try to then take a jump deeper into the core of this base. Inferno dragon's coming to the left. Pops that warn ability now to help protect this king. As the ability can go through. Does have that giant gauntlet. Royal champion will probably be sent in with some healers. Yes, indeed. RC comes in from the left side. We're going to see that king ability coming on through. He's going down very quickly here as the queen can help take the jump as well into the core. Sending headhunters head hunters into the defensive king behind a giant as a royal champion has to get through this ricochet cannon. Hopefully the spare fox doesn't get hit. She goes invisible. Continuing through, there is a lot of damage as he pops the RC ability. Hawk's coming through, finding a tornado trap. A giant bomb as well, but unfortunately, the defensive king was not taken out from the headhunters as the RC does go invisible. The queen is dead because she does not have ability. He used it very early onto the town hall, and she went down. And unfortunately, this one is going to fall short here for Romeo. Very nice try here. Trying to get every single percentage here as the king on the backside is going to defend. Stop that. Dropping some minions. Goblins to help try to get the storage. Wizards as well. And the wizard does grab that to put it to an 83% two-star. And Tony Gunk is up next. This man's got to be exhausted. Because where he is right now, it is 5 in the morning for Tony Gunk. He said he had two hours of sleep before this match. He had a few. Pl he did a little bit of a planning, got two hours as a nap, woke up, and he's ready to go. Good luck here. He's got quite a bit of troops with a recall spell. As this warden is slowly taking out this bottom compartment, this queen's gonna make her way left, and he pulled. No, but he does pull the healers back. Oh no, Tony, did you did you accidentally uh, forget to? What, what's the plan with these healers here? Okay, we got a balloon. Oh, wait, in front of this blimp. As the healers are being passed off to this Queen Anne Where are these healers going? Oh my gosh. 
He makes it into this compartment here, and E-Dragon comes out, but unfortunately, he's sitting over the poison spell, and he's e this E-Dragon didn't get any value. Oh, no, and the warden ability's forced. Oh, no! I think he just missed the healers on the warden. He didn't mean to have the heal. I was thinking for at one second, he was like, oh, yeah, he pulled the warden back. He's going to pass the healers off onto whatever is inside that blimp, and maybe he can do something, but... Oh, that's not happening. That's not happening here as the queen has continued away from the right side. There are walls around this town hall, which is going to make it very hard for this king to help try to get the town hall with an invisibility spell right behind it. As he continues, the queen, will she wrap to the town hall? Uh, I think so. Indeed, as triple ice golems have now come out. Going to pop this king ability. No, still waiting on it. So the king is not going for the town hall just yet. Finally, the town hall goes down. Invisibility spell from the... The visibility tower goes off as he sends the royal champ from the top side. Single target inferno is getting distracted on his own ice golem. So he's going to help freeze up this area as he tries to make his way to the royal champ on the top side with his enemy, with his RC. As the poison spell in the core of this base has come back. Dropping some balloons to the bottom side has a rage spell. Going to try to continue this queen to charge her way through, but does still have her ability. As the RC's ability has already gone off, she's trying to make her way through the multi arch tower and the scatter shot, but unfortunately not able to do that as the RC is about to go down. Does find the tornado trap, but this queen's getting some more value, continuing to try to stay alive here. I can only imagine he wanted that E Dragon definitely to get some more value there, but unfortunately was not able to do it. But he is racking up the percent. Is this just going to be a time fail with that queen ability and the arrow here? Look at that queen. Continuing. These healers staying alive, not finding any of the red air bombs. I'd love to get the eagle the bottom. Pass his eagle artillery. Ground skeletons are quite annoying. I have to be forced with this queen ability. That frozen arrow, though, will not generate too much health back as he's forced with the ability. Now, Expo goes down. Getting it to the 90% here. This is definitely clutch to raise the percentage. Ricochet cannon is going down. Can he grab the storage as well? I think so. Just enough. And it's a 92. The area of where the blimp landed is unfortunately what stalled up Tony. Champ is in. What does he got up his sleeves with some barbarians, some archers. Finds a seeking airline right off the bat. And we're going to go with a few balloons and a wall wrecker to go into this town hall. The wall wrecker is going to beat through both of these walls. Continue. Double seeking air mines near. But this wall wrecker is going to continue through as the queen is getting raged up to help her go for this eagle artillery. Does have a recall. This e dragon is going to help try to chain right through the town hall and try to grab this monolith. Hang on. The monolith goes. Yeah, that's the monolith. That's, well, that's, 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 <laughs> that's going to be fun. They're running down south. That e dragon got a very nice value with that chain, but he does not pull all the healers back. Sends the king and the warden down. I don't know. This head and this doesn't know where they want to go. Will it trigger? Oh, it does trigger the defensive rage spell as he's pushing this queen in from the left side. Does have the frozen arrow on the queen with the healing tome for that warden. Hog puppets for the royal champ. He's continuing this queen to charge from the left side. Now that king ability can be very valuable, valuable here. Does have a jump spell. Is he going to use the jump spell in, be in between here? To yes, he does. Which gives queen access and gives the king access to move on through the core. Does have that warden internal tome here to protect. And he's going to wait, wait, wait. Uses it now just before the king was about to die. So that he can stay alive even a bit further. Absorb more damage, including that single target inferno. As the golem coming on the far right side, helping protect the royal champion. With archers, barbarians to help clean up around the edges. What can his queen and king get through the core? As the royal champion is making his way through, these barbarians, archers can provide distraction on the point defenses. As he's got two or more invisibility spells to use, making his way across with this queen ability and that RC's ability as well with hogs that will come through. Won't get too much health boost from the RC's ability, so you have to make sure you use the invisibility spells to help really try to protect her. And, and, and the warden's going to help try to help keep the RC alive. There it is. She goes invisible just for a little bit so that the damage goes off of the RC. With two invis left, the RC is going to stay alive. The queen's still up. And we've got our first three star here. Champ, well done. Down goes Davies base and gives them a star lead in this match. GG. Davies up. Good luck.
And what do you have up your sleeve here with lightning spell? Taking out an expo, a monolith, a poison spell tower. As we've got two bats to use as the flame flinger is down. Finding a Tesla over by the king platform. While breaking into the scatter, Ice Golem is helping the freezes area. Does drop that warden and an apprentice warden to help give a little bit of a life boost. As he's not pulled out this clan castle, but the king is about to with a wall break that's going across. And even sending in the royal champion at the same time here. Does find a tornado trap. Out comes the clan castle of Ice Golems. Sending a Golem, Ice Golem, and Electro Titan down south with that queen. As he's going to rely on that Flame Flinger to go for the Town Hall. Still has that one ability, and he uses it just now here. It's not looking too bad here. He's got one healer. Hanging on to the healer here. Flame Flinger is going to go for the Town Hall out of range of the Ground Expo. So he's safe there. As he finally now deploys the one healer to try to help heal this queen back up. That King ability has already been used. That Warren ability has already been used. So he's not really trying to get any more value in this push because of the Ice Golem on the defensive side. As he's trying to use these E-Dragons to help take out the enemy Royal Champion. And he does just that. But his E-Dragons over on that side are dying off. They're getting picked off. But he's trying to really get his value into the core. And those Ice Golems did so much damage. As this Queen can continue her way through this core. And see, this is where if you had a Warden Fireball would be very valuable. To not only remove a bunch of defenses, but also grabs a Clan Castle. The fact that the War of Warden Fireball can kill a Clan Castle pretty easily if you're able to damn it hit it near it granted you need a high enough fireball then don't have to deal with a cc of ice golems lava hound or anything like that definitely can change an attack and change the way you hit a base as the queen is going to continue unfortunately she's going to get stuck on a wall it drops a minion onto the wizard tower so it is low health they do identify that so it can help with every single building and percentage one more freeze to try to help this queen get through the scatter shot as she does have that frozen arrow but unfortunately, she'll have to go through another set of walls in order to get any more than the scatter. Or, well, you can reach and grab these buildings here as a ground skeleton. Double ground skeletons pop up right in front of this queen. As she's getting overwhelmed by the skeletons. And the scatter shot will finish her off as it finishes with an 89% two-star. Romeo's up. And if he triples, they have a solid lead. But if he doesn't... Then Tony Gunk and Davey have a chance to tie. And it will come down to the judge voting. Where Romeo is going to reach over the wall here with the Grand Warden and the Poison Lizard. As we have the lightning spells coming for the Monolith and the Invisibility spell right behind this town hall. As the Warden is going to help continue his walk. What did we have on this Warden? It is a Rage Gym and the Eternal Tome. We got a Max Out Hog Puppet and the Seeking Shield. Dropping the Yeti and Headhunters onto the defensive king, trying to help take him down. As Warden continues moving on through, as Tesla's have popped in front of this town hall, so the Flame Flinger can help try to remove the town hall there and some defenses along the way. As the defensive king has now gone down, so that's some nice value. Air defense as well. Drops the skeleton spell on the outside with a golem, the queen, to help try to take out the Royal Champions. This Warden is continuing his charge through as we have two single target infernos in the core. The Warden is now joining in with this King to help try to clear this core. You don't want these Ice Golems to come out of here. And he pulled... Oh! Look at that. He recalled the healers off of the Warden so that he could then send them elsewhere as a Super Dragon comes out of here. That King ability is getting some fantastic value because he's not getting slowed down by Ice Golems here. Wow, what a recall here. Pulling him off the Warden. Now reuse them somewhere else in this space. Are you going to send him onto the Royal Champ? He does. So there's the recalled healers now being redeployed onto the RC as the Warden has died. The healers are trying to keep this RC healed back up. Rocket Loon's coming off to the left. Baby Dragon onto the Wizard Tower. And the Queen's going to continue to follow along with that Flame Flinger. Hang on, look at this. Look at this, my friends, with the two more Rocket Loons to utilize. The Queen's got her ability. RC's got her ability. It's all up to if this... Oh, no, the Spear Fox has died. That is what he needed to help stay alive as he pops the RC ability. The Hogs are out in front, trying to take out the single. The Queen ability, unfortunately, is forced, and he's got a Super Witch coming out of that Flame Flinger here. He's got one Headhunter to try to deal with the enemy Queen. Can he time it right? The RC with the healers. The healers are clutch. Look at this. The queen's getting distracted by the barbarians. The goblins taking her down. These healers are 
do it work the healers saved this attack by allowing the rc to stay alive whoa okay look at that well done and it is a three star nope. need a triple <laughs> no, no pressure. Healers sending him onto the RC and getting that value. What a fantastic attack from Romeo. Tony Gunk is in to close this one off with 20 Rocket Loons. We've got a clone spell, handful of invises. Rocket Loons coming off to the left. Not going to go for the air defense just yet. Rocket Loons to the bottom. Bunch of traps right on here. The air defense does go down, but the top one stays up. Sends in one more Rocket Loon, a second Rocket Loon help snipe it and down it goes well done takes those corners out dropping a couple more rocket loons he has a stone slammer is he gonna try to sneak the stone slammer oh is he gonna try to rocket loon these multi-arch towers no he makes them invisible rocket loon remember the death damage will actually trigger and activate the town hall did he plan for that uh okay it opens it's an e-dragon but the invisibility spell right behind the town hall is going to go off. He's going to invis these E-Dragons again to really get some chain value. The invisibility goes off. So this E-Dragon actually utilize that invisibility spell of the defensive side. He makes this E-Dragon invisible to try to continue to get some chains. He's got one more invis. One more invis. One more invis. But the E-Dragon will not take that town hall down. And that death damage of the Rocket Loon did activate the town hall. The builder can actually repair it if he doesn't do something about it here. As we've got that queen, gonna make her way towards this scatter shot. Rathaloons to the top side to snipe that air archer tower and the air defense there. Now the king could path to the town hall, but he's more likely to go to the storage if it stays up. No, the king will go to the town hall because of the queen. And the warden's joining in. And the wall breaks coming in from the, where the queen is. Ice golems come out, one shots the town hall, pops that warden ability to protect that king, getting slowed down by the ice golem as he drops rocket loons and skeleton spells and headhunters to come in for the defensive heroes here trying to help distract them take them down the royal champion and queen have been secured as he now sends in his royal champion to go into the ricochet cannon with another invis and a freeze still to use we still have heavy defense is still left in the core including the eagle artillery as the royal champ does jump the walls trying to continue to stay alive RC does use her ability, but unfortunately, the Spare Fox dies off. And Tony Gunk, fortunately, will not get this. I wonder if he wanted the E-Drag, the Stone Slammer, to go behind the Town Hall. Not thinking about the death damage of the Rocket Loon activating the Town Hall there. Very nice try to you, Tony Gunk. But this one is going to fall short, and they are going to be down by two stars in this match. We'll still bring up the Judge voting nonetheless. And no... No, sir. It is just a 79% two-star there for Mr. Tony Gunk. And the final score is going to be 10 to 8 in this match with a 76 to 69.2. But now it's time for the judge voting. The final score is 11.33 to an 8.67. Romeo and Champ will be advancing to round two to take on Demo and Diego as we have just a few more matches in round one to go.